selling out of a tent or a trailer? What is better for your lemonade, shaved ice, hot dog, kettle corn business? Let's find out and talk about in this video. This is Mike, the Caesar of Concessions is back with another video for you today, my friends. All right, all right. So this is an age old question and I personally get this a lot through DMs and other messages uh, asking me, what do I think is better to sell out of? Well, let's go through this checklist I have and find out and make up, maybe make up your own mind. Here we go. Cost factor, which is better, tent or trailer? God, it's not even close. A tent is way, uh, I mean, it's way, way better than a trailer. L let me give you an example. Um, obviously one tent, how you set it up with all your equipment and stuff, you know, maybe you're looking at two, three, four grand. You can get two, three, four tents maybe set up properly for the cost of one trailer. Can you imagine that? Four tents, maybe have two at an event or do like we do and put our tents out all over the city at various events while they're going on. Yeah, the tent is way cheaper than a trailer. Let's go to eye appeal. Now I'm not talking sales. I will talk about that later on in the video, which one I think will generate more sales. But let's just talk about eye appeal. Which one looks better? Well, if all things are equal, right? The tent looks good, trailer looks good. The trailer's gonna get the nod every time. Um, it just looks better to people. Uh, looks better to me and I'm a tent guy. I just think from an eye appeal standpoint and, and not just what I think, but from what I've seen for working for 14 years in this business and watching people move and how to take advantage of that. Um, yeah, the eye appeal, definitely, definitely goes to the trailer. Next, let's talk about the weather, right? And the elements you will have to come into contact with right because our business is like no different than a farmer it relies upon the weather and what the weather does affects your business now i have been in trailers that have been hotter than a tent that is no lie it's some something to do with not as much airflow as you would get in a tent and if it's 100 degrees out in a tent you're underneath the shade, whatever, airflow is going through there really well. Um, you're talking about, you know, it's about 100 degrees. You go in a trailer, it just has a couple little serving windows in it, and maybe the back door's open. Oh, man, that's 115, 120 degrees. Easy, particularly if you got equipment running in there. So, but with wind, rain, sleet, hail, snow, the trailer far outweighs the tent so on elements and dealing with them i'm gonna have to give this one to the trailer i have a membership program in my youtube channel i'll put a link in the description all you gotta do is pay two bucks you get exclusive content from me we do workshops with other vendors we got like 45 of us in there and we do workshops together twice a month in our discord server it's absolutely incredible Plus, a little one-on-one -on -one mentorship for me. Check it out in the description below. $2 a month. Next, versatility. Man, this one was a really hard one to grade. Uh, because they're both versatile, a tent and a trailer, in their own way. Um, you know, you can just roll the, the trailer up in front of a Walmart, drop it, and go. Right? And just go at it. A tent. You can put it up on the sidewalk of, let's say, a Walmart and do extremely well there. But I'm going to give versatility to the tent. And let me tell you why. Because we set the tent up in parks, on grassy areas, this, that, and the other, where there's no way you get a trailer. Also, versatility means I can expand and have multiple tra multiple tents rather at a, at a at an event, whereas you can only afford to have one trailer at an event. So versatility, yeah, the tent's got a 
got to get my nod on this one. Uh, we got set up a tear down. What sells better, best for growth and best for you coming up. But first, this video is being sponsored by KettleCornMachine.com. Check them out. They have the best lemonade and kettle corn equipment in the market. And they have a warranty on all their equipment. So you know they're going to build it to last. Check out KettleCornMachine.com. Next, set up and tear down. Well, <clears throat> ain't got much to say about this. This one goes to the trailer. So easy. Look at this. I mean, yeah, the trailer hooked up to the rig. All you got to do is pull it up. If you can, leave the, the truck or van attached um, and work out the trailer. If you have to, you can drop it, the trailer, pull the vehicle around, whatever. Um, set up and tear down. Way easier than one tent. And trust me, guys, it's way easier than setting up four or five or six tents at an event. So, yeah, um, set up and tear down, no doubt, goes with the trailer. Now, best for growth. And what I mean by that is, which one is best that you can really expand your company? Let's say you're doing really well, whether you have one tent or one trailer and you're really getting some traction in business and you're like, you know what? We could really grow this. We could like, I'm passing up on events that we could be at because we only have this one spot, this one trailer, this one tent. Well, with growth, with a tent, super affordable, super easy. Uh, I mean, like I said, you can have four or five, maybe even six tents for the cost of one trailer so that's two trailers and that is like 12 tents right so as far as growth goes it's way easier and, and way more cost effective if you really want to grow your t company to grow them with a tent what sells better okay this one is really tough because I've been on both sides of the spectrum, you could say. Um, I'm going to have to give the nod. And there's some caveats here. I'm going to give the nod to the trailer. And let me tell you why. It's kind of like I mentioned earlier in a video. If you have a tent, it's set up. It's beautiful. It's perfect. High banners. Things out in front of it. you got a trailer that's fully wrapped with good lights, music, and like a blow up something out in front of it and you watch people, and you're both selling the same product, 60, 70% going to the trailer, 30, 40% going to the tent. I don't know what it is about people, but after 14 years in this business, I think I got a really good case study on this type of human behavior, and they will prefer, if all things are equal, they will prefer the trailer over the tent, but like I said, if all things are equal. Now, let's talk about what is best for you. It comes down to your budget. Okay, number one. Number two, it comes down to expansion goals. Okay, so if you're really not too interested in expanding your business really to have multiple, you know, locations, so to speak, um, and you really want to be brand specific and you just want to sell lemonade or just shaved ice, then I think your bet is to do the trailer. However, if you're looking at growth and expansion within your company, selling multiple products within your company, um, then the tent, I think, is the way to go. But honestly, it comes down to you and your budget and your long-term growth plan. All right, this is Mike, the Caesar of Concessions.